Hi Yukon, Olivia here from the Wildlife Viewing Team. Today I'm here with Leah Wainwright from the Trondic Witchin First Nation and today we're going to be looking for spruce trees. These trees are common throughout much of the boreal forest in Canada, from Newfoundland all the way to the Yukon. Spruce trees tend to prefer moist sites, although they can tolerate some dry conditions. These trees are valuable to First Nations communities living off the land. You can use everything on the spruce tree, right from these little tiny spruce tips all the way down to the roots. Spruce needles are four-sided, sharply pointed, and easily roll between your fingers. Pine needles, on the other hand, such as the lodgepole pine, are much longer and attached to branches in clusters of two. In Yukon, we have two types of spruce trees, the white spruce and black spruce. White spruce can grow in a wide range of environments, but prefers well-drained soils, whereas the black spruce is frequently found in poorly drained areas such as swamps and bogs. The spruce tip is one of my favorites. Not only can you make a tea with it, which is really good for like colds and that, but it is also, you can be used into foods such as infused spruce tip honey. When you touch the bark of a spruce tree, your hands will probably be quite sticky. You've just got spruce gum and resin on your hands. The trees produce this sticky sap when a tree has been injured. This could be from an axe mark or a missing branch. The sap flows from the tree and is essentially making a band-aid to cover the wound. You can actually make it into a mouthwash and they'll help with sort of any uh, gum ailments that you might have. Um, you can also just chew it, which you, the taste is fine, but you'll be chewing it for a very long time. Which is maybe why when we were younger, my mom would be like, go find some spruce, spruce gum. Maybe to keep us quiet or something, but yeah. So if you ever do just decide to chew it, you're going to be chewing it for a long time. Thank you so much for coming out with us on the trail today, Leah. Masi Cho. I don't know why my mom makes me do this. Okay. <laughs> Woo! There we go, already! <laughs> Try that again.